and I witnessed how he structures all of the training from everyone from pros. And that is going to be your fastest possible time who trained 12 hours a week and he went sub nine hours in Kona. Focus please. Morning trainiacs. As you may know, if you've been around for the last week, I was just in Scottsdale and Tempe and a big chunk of what I was doing down there was I was meeting with Matt Dixon and the Purple Patch Pro Triathlon team and I witnessed how he structures all of the training from everyone from pros to age groupers. And I think that there is something that's really important about Matt's approach, as he calls it, methodology. Uniting behind the methodology, the methodology, the methodology, the methodology. It just sounds so nice when he says it. That all age groupers need to hear because it means potentially training less while getting faster. I'm also taking up wearing a hat backwards. So I'm gonna put this in all Terran terms here and I'm probably gonna paraphrase and butcher a lot of what Matt Dixon says. If you're very interested in Matt Dixon's approach after hearing this, go to Amazon, check out The Well-Built Triathlete and The Fast Track Triathlete. Those are two books that Matt has come out with over the last three, four years. So now in my words, what I gathered from Matt is that the training approach for every triathlete needs to match their lifestyle. And why that is, is because our bodies can't differentiate stress that comes from work or stress that comes from training. And because most of us age groupers have very stressful jobs and we tend to have family structures where triathlon is not integrated into the family, any time that we do triathlon training, it's often taking away and adding to the difficulty of fitting in all of real life. And because pros structure their entire lives around the training, we can't expect to be putting in the same amounts of physical stress hours in the triathlon training that pros do. And that's because in the case of pros, they have more time to rest, they have more time to recover, they have more time to put their feet up. So often when people say, hey, how much training is it gonna take to get to Kona, for example, the typical answer is anywhere in between 18 and 22 hours a week of training. That's what we see pros doing. But when you ask people, do you have 18 to 20 hours a week to train? Rarely does anyone actually have that. Pros do. 20 hours a week from an age grouper doesn't have the same effect because we spend that 20 hours a week training and then we go and work 40, 50, 60 hours on top of it. Then in the evening, we have to cart our families around. We have to go to events. There is a whole lot more that goes into it. So what happens with the pro is that they're able to absorb that 20 hours a week of training, whereas with the age grouper, it might be too much. So it's not like 20 hours a week is just 20 hours a week. For every single athlete, there is a certain amount of training time and training stress that they can put themselves through over the course of a week that is comfortable enough to absorb the training. And that's different for everyone and dependent on your lifestyle and your body's ability to recover. So instead of trying to cram everyone's life regardless of what commitments they have into a maximum training effort week, what we're looking to do is figure out how much training you can comfortably sustain and recover from and that is going to be your fastest possible time. Beyond that, you're probably doing yourself damage. So how do you figure out how much time you can spend training? First thing is that you've got to tally up the non-negotiables. That's time spent working, time spent commuting, time with commitments to family, and at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Also then build in a little bit of me time, essentially an hour, maybe two hours every day where you're not rushing from one thing to the next, because even if you can fit everything in, but you're rushing from one thing to the next, it's just constant stress on your body and you need a little bit of downtime throughout the day. And then what you do is you build your triathlon training plan around that not the other way around. And if it turns out that 12 hours is 
all that you can comfortably get in, 12 hours is going to be your optimal performance training hours week. And what Matt also does, in addition to figuring out your optimal amount of time, is he understands that things come up. So over the course of a week, let's say there's 10 workouts in a week, he'll indicate which workouts are key workouts. These are typically the biggest, the longest, the most difficult training workouts. And then the other workouts are the supporting workouts. These are the technique workouts. Runners might refer to these as garbage miles, recovery workouts. Now, if you need to steal a day because you're running out of time, or if you need to just shorten up a workout, you do that with these recovery workouts, either dropping them or dropping aspects of it to shorten the workout so that you can still get those key most beneficial workouts in. So do pros train upwards of 20 or more hours a week? Yes. Will training 20 hours a week help you more than training 12 hours a week? Yes, but only if your life is set up to be able to comfortably train 20 hours a week. And does it mean that if you aren't able to train 20 hours a week that you can't reach your dreams like go to Kona? No, there's actually a couple of case studies, very famous ones, where Matt has coached athletes, one in particular named Sammy Inkinen, who trained 12 hours a week and he went sub nine hours in Kona. Now granted, Sammy was an incredible youth athlete and he had a huge engine to begin with, but it's just to say that you can reach your peak level of fitness for your lifestyle on less training than the gold standard 20 hour training weeks that people have come to think is the norm. So you go triathletes, if you aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below to catch our daily triathlon videos. If you wanna see a lot of the coverage that we did with Matt and his pro purple patch team, check out those videos up here and uh, if you're an existing Trainiac, and if you're an existing Trainiac, if you got any questions, and if you're an existing Trainiac, you got any questions about this, ask them in the comments below. See ya. Backwards hat. Ooh, ow, 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 that hurts. Ow! Ooh!